Viruses happen in nature naturally. Lack of hygiene, rot, decay, mutations in animals. The world has been plagued with the diseases since the world was created. From the times of Justinian in the 6th century to the 14th century when the bubonic plague ravaged Europe to the 1918 influenza outbreak, we humans have found ourselves in vulnerable positions time and time again. Even today, we face such a crisis. Those who grew up in the 1960s and 70s seem to fear that Mother Nature caused not all diseases. Stephen King wrote about government experiments where subjects were treated to chemicals that would exploit mutant powers, as in the 1980 book and the 1984 film adaptation of his uh, story, Firestarter. Or in the short story, Night Surf, the seeding of the idea where the bioweapon escapes the government control, which in turn became the stand, both a book and a miniseries. Now, this leads us to today's prop, the Tyrant Virus or the T-Virus from the Resident Evil film franchise. Hi, I'm Rob and this is A Constantly Racing Mind. Now Resident Evil is an action horror film series based on Capcom's Resident Evil video game brand. In January 1998, now Screen Gems brought the distribution rights to Resident Evil in 2001 and hired Paul W.S. Anderson to write and direct the film. Now he said underperforming movies tie-ins are too common and Resident Evil, of all games, deserved a good celluloid portrayal. Now Anderson said of the film's lack of video game tie-ins. Now as depicted in the film, the Umbrella Corporation runs a top secret genetic research facility known as the Hive. The Hive, located deep under Raccoon City, has been sealed by the Red Queen. This is an AI that controls the hive. Now the Red Queen murders every living thing in the facility, but the T-Virus reanimates them, turning the humans into voracious zombies and the animals into highly hostile mutants. Now the Tyrant Virus, often known as the T-Virus, is the collective term for a group of mutant progenitor virus subtypes. Now, the major purpose of the T-Virus project, which was first developed by Umbrella Pharmaceuticals in the, in the late 1960s, was to effectively eliminate the need for a large-scale conventional army while generating cash for the eugenics program, or the Wesker project. This necessitated two things. The virus had to be high contagious, capable of infecting the whole target population, and it had to guarantee a 100% mortality rate. And like other viruses, T-viruses make contact with cell's membrane and inject their genetic information. Now, the viral genome is absorbed into the cell's own genome, which, which causes the cell's intended functions to be hijacked and used to make virins similar to the original.